In June of 2019, my family and I were able to trek over to Italy in order to experience the rich history of both Rome and the island of Sicily. We were witnesses to so many spectacular sights, exquisite nightlife, and a warm and vibrant culture. We were even able to reconnect with Nostra Familia, distant but very close Sicilian members of my mother's side. And while priorities existed higher on the list, I did hope to have an encounter with the Italian wall lizard, a reptile relatively common in Italy, but especially on the island of Sicily. All right, HerpQuest International. Here I am on the island of Sicily in the city Palermo. And while there's many, many, many sights to see here, I'm gonna also try to squeeze in some time to find the Italian wall lizard. He's been on my list. He's a very common lizard on this island, so I thought I'd, I'd try for an easy one while trying to pack in so much into this vacation. A little bit later though, also, we're gonna check out some Greek ruins uh, more to the south near the uh, city of Castle Vetrano. So, wish me luck. I'm gonna go try to find this Italian wall lizard. Here we go. Now, I actually did not have to go very far, and we've already seen our first one here. There's our first Italian wall lizard. And I know that they're pretty fast. This guy's going to be fast for me too. I'm not going to try to catch him. I wouldn't want to ever harm a lizard that way. I'm trying to grab him, I don't want it to lose its tail. So we're just going to be voyeurs on this vacation. Got to respect the locals. Let's see how close you let me get. Oh, not very close at all. Here's where he went. Cool. Buongiorno. All right, cool. Let's see what else we can find. I'm trying to find the, uh, the Italian wall lizard. And I've got some right here, right by some Greek ruins. Southern part of the island of Sicily. And you can tell it's pretty hot and humid and there's a lot of wind here, but let's go check out the Italian wall lizard that is all over this place. This is awesome. This is so sweet. This is the closest I've gotten to one of them. Really don't want to startle them because they are fast. The Italian wall lizard is a member of the Lacertidae family. The species fits into many niche areas beyond Italy, being native to multiple southern European countries. This lizard even gained some headlines in population following a 2008 study that was able to link behavioral changes along with morphological ones to what is being termed rapid evolution. There's over 47 different recognized subspecies. Cute little guys, huh? You'd be able to notice how cute they are a little bit easier if they weren't so fast. And something really awesome about this lizard is that a few of the subspecies are evolutionarily distinct in having sequel valves. These sequel valves slow the digestion process and allow pockets in the digestive tract that allow for microorganisms to help digest cellulose material, which otherwise the lizards would not be able to. These valves are seen as relatively recent adaptations and give these lizards advantages in having more food options available. Still, if the region supports it, many Italian wall lizard subspecies stick to an omnivorous diet that can be quite insect heavy at times. Because of their versatility, the Italian wall lizard has unfortunately been successful also as an introduced species in multiple areas of the U.S. Cute little guy, huh? All right, internationally speaking, uh, when you're out there herping, sorry about the music, there's going to be a wedding here in a little bit. When you're out there herping, let's make sure to leave nature as good or better than we found it. This is Rich Lund. I'll see you next time.